identity theft. My name is Julie Ferguson and I'm Vice President of Emerging Technologies at Debix. I'm pleased to introduce Supervisory Special Agent Leslie Hoppe and Internet Crime Specialist Mona Warner. They are with the FBI Cybercrime Section working at the Internet Crime Complaint Center. Before I get started, I did want to take a moment to tell you a little bit about how I got involved in child identity theft. I've been chasing criminals and working to stop fraud for well over a decade, and I helped design the child identity theft product here at Debit. As with any new product, at my daughter's fifth birthday, I actually asked some of my friends to enroll in the product and, and tell me what their experience was. I never imagined that any of those kids would become a victim of identity theft. Two of them actually have someone else using their social security number. At that point, we decided to do a study with Javelin Strategy and Research to evaluate the data of what we were seeing. And the results are as follows. We took a look at 500 children under the age of 18. All of them were enrolled in the Debix Identity Protection Network with a time period from July 18th through September 12th. The one thing I do want to point out is this is not a nationally representative study. The trends are holding as children continue to enroll. The study discovered that 5% of the children had one or more credit reports using their social security number. 3% were found to be identity theft victims, and 2% were victims of what we'll call identity contamination. And what that means is their social security number is being used with somebody else's credit file. Identity contamination and the identity theft have the same impact. Among the 5% of children um, that had a problem, it was an average of $12,779 in fraudulently or wrongly assigned debt. An astonishing 12% of those with problems are age 5 and under. And with that, I'm pleased to introduce Supervisory Special Agent Leslie Hoppe and Internet Crime Specialist Mona Warner. They are with the FBI Cybercrime Section working at the Internet Crime Complaint Center. Yes, good afternoon, Julie. We seem to hear a lot about identity theft in the news, but we're going to try and attempt to put a price tag on it. The numbers are staggering and increasing. Previous estimates advise that $48 billion have been lost in previous years by financial institutions and businesses, and up to $5 billion by individuals. Current estimates indicate as many as 8.2 million Americans have their identity stolen each year at a cost of over $50 billion. And surprisingly, children are a growing part of these statistics. Why are children increasingly targeted by identity thieves? Because child identity theft can go undetected until the child reaches 18. At this time, they're applying for college tuition, employment, car loans, credit cards, even cell phones. You have to be vigil in your fight against identity thieves. And here are some tips to try and help deter identity thieves. You need to monitor your child's credit report while you check your credit reports on a yearly basis. You need to shred all financial documents and paperwork containing personal information. Carry only the minimum amount of identifying information for your child. Be careful with whom you share your child's personal information. And also explain to your child not to share his or her social security account number with anyone. Thank you very much, Julie. We'll, we'll hand it back over to you. Okay, great. Thank you so much. One of the questions that I get often is how can this happen? And the fundamental problem is there's no system that exists that tells banks, creditors, and credit bureaus that this is a child's identity. And as Mona and Leslie mentioned, um, the impact of child identity theft and identity contamination may be that a child may not be able to get a college loan, their first job, rent an apartment, or get credit cards. What I want to talk to you now about is a story of Lindsay Wheeler. She is age 21 and she's a college student at Texas State University. She actually interviewed along with 400 candidates and got her dream internship. She got her job offer letter and the welcome gift, and she was very excited to join the company. Three weeks later, she received a letter telling her her job offer had been rescinded, that there was a problem with her identity, that she was not going to get the job. It actually took her six months to go through and clean up her identity. Somebody else had been using her social security number. As you can see, this is a very serious problem with some very harsh consequences. The solution I helped build here at Debix finds the problem and restores the child's identity. We charge $20 per year. 
And with that, I'd like to thank my speakers. You're welcome, Julie. Thank you for inviting us. And thank you all for attending our webinar.